Britney Spears here. Uh, another fantastic and exciting day for ballast song flipping out on the street. Uh, anyway, I wanted to talk about the ballast song that I'm flipping now. It's been featured countless times on the channel. Um, this is the Ether or Ether E T H E R clone. Now, this knife, the original one, came out, um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, a year and a half ago or some change. I don't know exactly. Don't quote me on anything. But uh, yeah, this, uh, you could still kind of read up, whoa, on the history of the Ether on Facebook, where they kind of had pictures of their prototype or whatever it was. But yeah. This ballast song is special in one way, which is the fun factor. I mentioned fun versus performance, but I don't think people quite understand the power that both of those hold. You see, I think that the Squid Trainer is one of the highest performing ballast songs, which now I believe is the Firefly. Um, but either way, uh, Yet, you don't see me flipping those right now, do you? I've had the Squid Trainer. I have the Firefly. I have tons of uh, $200 and $300 ballast songs that I've owned and sold. And I've gone through tons of ballast songs. And I still have uh, a lot at my house. So why, why flip this, right? Even when I'm home, I'll flip this guy. Why flip this guy, right? It's, it's clanky, it's janky, it's ranky, it's tappy, it's wacky, it's flappy, it's shaky, it's breaky, even got tap when it's open. So why flip this guy, right? So this thing has very nice performance, but it is far more fun than it is performant, as you can tell by all of the loud sounds you can hear as this thing slaps across itself um but this thing is so fun in fact that i would rather flip this over other ballast songs and this guy only ran me about 60 bucks so if you take something that costs 60 and you say hey this is more fun than everything that's out there right then you know then people are going to question oh like so you're flipping this because it's more fun and it's cheaper. I'm just trying to prove to people that something can be far cheaper and extremely fun to flip. You know? Now, that doesn't discredit expensive ballast songs because obviously if we were to pair up those expensive ballast songs to just this guy alone, I think every ballast song that was more expensive than this would beat it in terms of um, performance. You're not telling me I got to get out of the way of this guy. He really, he really made me get out of the way of him. I guess public sidewalk, public rules, right? That's crazy. Unless this isn't a public sidewalk. But yeah. Dang. The guy made me move out of the way. He had his golf cart. He was going to run me over. He didn't, he didn't care. I was going to let him hit me, but I, if we were playing chicken, you know, I, I'm going to be the smarter guy and move out of the way of a vehicle. So, yeah. He definitely won that round, boys. That's a GG. Everyone type in GG in the in the chat for him. He won that round. <laughs> um, but yeah, where was I? I? Oh yeah, I was just trying to get across to the point of um, when it comes to price and a ballast song, get what you can afford because something is going to be more fun than nothing. And that's kind of my main point. You can have some of the worst ballast song in the world. You can even have a curved ballast song, which is the worst ballast song in the world to flip. But they are beautiful. Um, anyone who likes the curved ballast songs, I do like the look of them. But I'm sorry, you can't flip them. It just won't work. I've tried. Um, but yeah. I'm still shocked at that guy. I can't get him out of my head now. He just looked me dead in my eyes as he kept accelerating towards me with his golf cart. Man, that was really something. Anyway, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Yeet.